guys, this is Mrs. Clark. I teach second grade at Grace Chapel Elementary School. I am currently doing the reading lesson for um, August 31st, 2020, and this is day one of a five-day lesson on a book called A Bad Case of Stripes, okay? So, um, looking as you can see in the background, I have uh, several materials that you're going to need. Um, I have the book already. Um, you're going to have a main character poster, um, maybe some chart paper describing Camilla Cream student sheets, a uh, vocabulary rock and roll sheet, and vocabulary cards. So you're going to get some of those in your folder um, at home or at school if you're doing this lesson at school. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So before we start a story, we're going to look at our learning target. It says, I can describe the main character of a story using key details from the text. Okay, so before we start reading, it says, look at the cover of this book. What do you notice? Okay, and then what do you think made her have stripes? So here is the before. Okay, so what do you notice? I notice that she has red yellow, green, blue, and orange stripes. And she also has a thermometer hanging out of her mouth. Okay, so I can infer from the text or from the cover that she's probably feeling sick. Okay, and that this is not something normal. Okay, what do you think caused her to get these stripes? Do you think she was born with them? Do you think she um, got them from someone? Or do you think it's something contagious? Okay, so think about that. Think about your answer as we read. So while we are reading, we're going to look at characters. We're going to look at who the main characters are in the story, and then how would you describe these characters? What words would you use? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. A Bad Case of Stripes by David Shannon. Okay, so I'll make that large. All right. So here's the title page. Okay. All right. Here's the picture. So it says, Camilla Cream loved lima beans, but she never ate them. All her friends hated lima beans and she wanted to fit in. Camilla was always worried about what other people thought of her. Today, she was fretting, which means she was getting upset, even more than usual, it was the first day of school, and she couldn't decide what to wear. There were so many people to impress, she tried on 42 outfits, but none seemed quite right. She put on a pretty red dress and looked in the mirror. Then she screamed. Okay, so there she is, putting on her red dress, trying to figure out if this is the outfit. Why do you think she screamed? Okay. Okay. So, she's probably got something going on right now. This is the next page. So, it says, her mother ran into the room and she screamed too. Oh, my heavens, she cried. You're completely covered with stripes. This was certainly true. Camilla was striped from head to toe. She looked like a rainbow. Mrs. Cream felt Camilla's forehead. Do you feel all right? She asked. I feel fine, Camilla answered, but just look at me. You get back in bed this instant, her mother ordered. You're not going to school today. Camilla was relieved. Relieved means like, you know, feels pretty good. She didn't want to miss the first day of school, but she was afraid of what the other kids would say. And she had no idea what to wear with these crazy stripes. Okay, so think about how Camilla feels right now. Okay. Also think about our characters. That afternoon, Dr. Bumble came to examine Camilla. Most extraordinary, he exclaimed. I've never seen anything like it. Are you having any coughing, <coughs> sneezing, Achoo! runny nose, aches, pains, chills, hot flashes, dizziness, drowsiness, shortness of breath, or uncontrollable twitching? No, Camilla told him. I feel fine. Well then, 
Dr. Bumble said, turning to Mrs. Cream. I don't see any reason why she shouldn't go to school tomorrow. Here's some ointment. So ointment is like a cream to put on. Um, that should help clear up those stripes in a few days. If it doesn't, you know where to reach me. And off he went. So there's Dr. Bumble examining Camilla. Looking her over. Uh-oh. The next day was a disaster. She called her Camilla Crayon and Knight of the Living Lollipop. She tried her best to act as if everything were normal. But when the class said the Pledge of Allegiance, her stripes turned red, white, and blue, and she broke out in stars. So now it's even worse. The other kids thought this was great. One yelled out, let's see some purple polka dots. Sure enough, Camilla turned all purple, purple polka dotty. Someone else shot a checkerboard and a pattern of squares covered her skin. Soon everyone was calling out different shapes and colors and poor Camilla was changing faster than you can change channels on a TV. So how do you think Camilla is feeling right now? She's probably feeling pretty bad about herself. That night, Mr. Harms, the school principal, called. I'm sorry, Mrs. Cream, he said. I'm going to have to ask you to keep Camilla home from school. She's just too much of a distraction. Distraction means like, you know, something's going on and keeping you your attention from something else. And I've been getting calls from the other parents. They're afraid those stripes may be contagious. That means someone else could get them. Camilla was so embarrassed, she couldn't believe that two days ago, everyone liked her. Now, nobody wanted to be in the same room with her. Her father tried to make her feel better. Is there anything I can get you, sweetheart? He asked. No, thank you, sighed Camilla. What she really wanted was a nice plate of lima beans, but she had been laughed at enough for one day. There they are. Her mom and dad trying to comfort her. So Camilla has been asked to stay home from school. Hmm. Well, yes, I see, said Dr. Bumble mumbled when Mr. Cream phoned the next day. I think I'd better bring in the specialists. We'll be right over. About an hour later, Dr. Bumble arrived with four people in long white coats. He introduced them to the Creams. This is Dr. Grop, Dr. Sponge, Dr. Cricket, and Dr. Young. Then the specialists went to work on Camilla. They squeezed and jabbed, tapped and tested. It was very uncomfortable. Well, it's not the mumps, concluded Dr. Grop. Or the measles, said Dr. Sponge. Definitely not chicken pox, said, put in Dr. Cricket. Or sunburn, said Dr. Young. Try these, said the specialists. They each handed her a bottle filled with different colored pills. Take one of each before bed, said Dr. Grop. Then they filed out the front door, followed by Dr. Bumble. Bumble excuse me. Um, filed out means they walked single file in line, just like we do at school. So here they are examining her. Specialists are people that that's the only type of doctor they are. Uh, they didn't say what kind of doctors they were, but anyway. That night, Camilla took her medicine. It was awful. When she woke up the next morning, she did feel different, but when she got dressed, her clothes didn't fit right. She looked in the mirror, and there, staring back at her, was a giant, multicolored pill with her face on it. Okay, so why do you think she turned into a giant pill? Okay, think about that. Dr. Bumble rushed over as soon as Mrs. Cream called, but this time, instead of the specialists, he brought the experts. Dr. Gord and Mr. Mellon were the finest scientific minds in the land. Once again, Camilla was poked and prodded. Prodded means like, you know, poked. Looked at and listened to. The experts wrote down lots of numbers. Then they huddled together and whispered. Dr. Gord finally spoke. It might be a virus, he announced with authority. Suddenly, fuzzy little virus balls appeared all over Camilla. 
or possibly some form of bacteria, said Mr. Mellon. Out popped squiggly little bacteria tails. Or it could be a fungus, added Dr. Gord. Instantly, Camilla was covered with different colored fungus blotches. So blotches are like little spots. The experts looked at Camilla, then at each other. We need to go over these numbers again back at the lab, Dr. Gord explained. We'll call you when we know something. But the experts didn't have a clue, much less a cure. There they are staring at her, trying to figure out what's wrong. By now, the TV news had found out about Camilla. Reporters from every channel were outside her house, telling the story of the bizarre case of the incredible changing kid. Soon, a huge crowd was camped out on the front lawn. Camped out means they had, you know, just sat there. So there she is, the reporter, and then there are a bunch of people out there. Goodness gracious. The creams were swamped with all kinds of remedies from psychologists, allergists, herbalists, which are people that use plants as medicine, nutritionists, psychics, an old medicine man, a guru, and even a veterinarian. Each so-called cure only added to poor Camilla's strange appearance until it was hard to even recognize her. She sprouted roots and berries and crystals and feathers and a long furry tail, but nothing worked. So there's Camilla now trying to watch TV. Anyone noticing a pattern yet? One day, a woman who called herself an environmental therapist claimed that she could cure Camilla. Close your eyes, she said. Breathe deeply and become one with your room. I wish you hadn't said that, Camilla groaned. Slowly, she started to melt into the walls of her room. Her bed became her mouth, her nose was a dresser, and two paintings were her eyes. The therapist screamed and ran from the house. What are we going to do? cried Mrs. Cream. It just keeps getting worse and worse. She began to sob. Like, woo. So now Camilla is her bedroom. You see that? Nose, mouth, and then her two eyes are the pictures. At that moment, Mr. Cream heard a quiet little knock at the front door. He opened it, and there stood an old woman who was just as plump and sweet as a strawberry. Plump is like, you know, round. Excuse me, she said brightly, but I think I can help. So there's the older lady. She's coming over to help. Let's see what kind of wisdom she has. She went into Camilla's room and looked around. My goodness, she said with a shake of her head. What we have here is a bad case of stripes. One of the worst I've ever seen. She pulled a container of small green beans from her bag. Here, she said. These might do the trick. Are those magic beans? asked Mrs. Cream. Oh, my, no, replied the kind old woman. There's no such thing. These are just plain old lima beans. I'll bet you'd like some, wouldn't you? she asked Camilla. Camilla wanted a big heaping plateful of lima beans, more than just about anything, but she was still afraid to admit it. Yuck, she said. No one likes lima beans, especially me. Oh, dear. The old woman said sadly, I guess I was wrong about you. She put the beans back into her bag and started toward the door. Camilla watched the old woman walk away. Those beans would taste so good. And being laughed at for eating them was nothing compared to what she'd been going through. She finally couldn't stand it. Wait, she cried. The truth is, I really love lima beans. I thought so the old woman said with a smile. She took a handful of beans and popped them into Camilla's mouth. Mmm, said Camilla. So what made her finally admit that she liked lima beans? Interesting question. Suddenly, the branches, feathers, and squiggly tails began to disappear. Then the whole room swirled around. When it stopped, there stood Camilla, and everything was back to normal. I'm cured, she shouted. Yes, said the old woman. I knew the real you was in there somewhere. She patted Camilla on the head. Then she went outside and vanished into the crowd. Vanish means like disappeared. 
So there's Camilla. She's all healed. Afterward, Camilla wasn't quite the same. Some of the kids at school said she was weird, but she didn't care a bit. She ate all the lima beans she wanted, and she never had even a touch of stripes again. All right. So that's the end of the story. Now let's take a look at our questions. So who were the main characters in the book? The main characters, like the most important ones. And then how would you describe these characters? Now, who is main character means who is the story mostly about? Okay, so many times the main character will face a problem. So who is the main character in our story? All right, if you said Camilla Cream, you are correct. Give yourself a pat on the back. Good job. All right, now let's talk about the characters. All right, so we're going to review character traits, but we're going to skip the video um, because I can just show you what character traits are. So, for example, on our character trait chart right here, we have nervous. Okay, was Camilla nervous about going to school? Yes, she was nervous about going to school. Um, what about hopeful? Did she seem hopeful? Not really. So that word wouldn't really describe um, Camilla. Now, her parents were hopeful because they were hoping that someone would fix her, right? Um, what about careful? Do you think she was a very careful person? Let's look back in our text. So at the beginning of the story, what was she doing before she got the stripes? Okay. She was trying on different clothes because she wanted to be careful about her appearance because she didn't want to be made fun of, right? Um, so these are character traits. I think you're going to get a chart like this in your folder. And if not, you can always pause the video and um, look at it. So anyway, what I want to do now is we're going to do some character traits to describe Camilla. I already talked about a couple of them. Okay, so we're going to make a four box character chart. Okay, so on a piece of paper that you have at home, I want you to draw what's called a four box. You're going to draw two lines across and then a box in the middle. And I want you to put Camilla's name in the middle. And I want you to pause this video while you do that. Okay. All right. Now that you've made your chart, let's make our chart together. So let's think about some character traits for Camilla. Okay, so what's one word that you would use to describe Camilla at first? Okay, so remember one of the words was nervous. So I'm going to do nervous. I'm going to try to write the best I can using my computer mouse. All right, so if you put nervous, I put the same thing, okay? So she was feeling nervous, right? So that's one character trait. Now, what's another character trait or word that we could use to describe Camilla? Okay, what about, um, let's see, how about, was she, so she was nervous about going to school. Um, she cared a lot about what other people thought, didn't she? Okay, so maybe like self-conscious. Do you know what self-conscious means? Self-conscious means is you worry too much about what other people think. So we could say um, that she was self-conscious. That could be one, right? I hope I spelled that right. Excuse my poor handwriting. It's very hard to write with a computer mouse. All right. So I want you to go ahead and fill in two more words that would describe Camilla. Okay. And I'm going to pause the video. Or I want you to pause the video. Okay. All right. 
So now that you've written in two more words to describe Camilla, let's continue. Let me erase. I'm clear the whole thing. So now um, I'm going to do a separate video about vocabulary words and how to do the um, uh, how to do vocabulary rock and roll. It's it's pretty a very simple concept and uh, to practice some of the vocabulary from the story. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson, and I want you to think about. Um, something that you might have learned from the story today. So what kind of lesson or moral, remember what a moral is? Um, what kind of lesson could we learn from Camilla? Okay. And what she experienced. Okay. So be thinking about that. You can write it down. You can tell your teacher on dojo. Um, any of those. So I hope you enjoyed the reading lesson for today and I will see you guys later.